Okay guys, as I mentioned in the previous video, I got the Grinnell speaker. It's uh, really in good shape except for the surround itself is a little loose in a few places. In addition, I've got the voice coil rubbing and I believe it just needs to be recentered. So I'm going to just try what I've done in the past. I'm going to see if I can lift the uh, surround and the gasket off just using a little bit of alcohol. And if that doesn't work, then I'll move to uh, some lacquer thinner and uh, see if I can do the same. Put some shims around the center pole piece and um, reattach the surround and the gasket back down. See if we can get some better quality out of this thing. You may be able to hear the rubbing. You can see the area that's uh, loose. I think I'll start in this area. Looks like my best approach so far is try to lift at least half of the gasket off and then concentrate on saturating the uh, remaining perimeter. Looks like I'm gonna be able to salvage maybe a fourth of the uh, gasket. Just continue to work myself around the perimeter. Now I'm going around the perimeter and coming back about an eighth of an inch from the uh, rim. You can see the space here. So I can put shims in and shift what's left of the uh, surround and the gasket in the uh, proper direction, hopefully not to uh, rub against the uh, center pole piece. On these old loudspeakers, you just do the best you can. You can see I had some deterioration in the surround itself, trying to get the uh, cone itself loose from the frame. Looks like when the uh, adhesive was put down, a uh, very heavy coat in this area and some dripped over the uh, edge as well. Probably to this inside edge and the cone was attached there as well. But uh, not too bad. And I've went around the uh, cone now and it's uh, free. I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean out around the uh, voice coil and the center pole piece just using some uh, double sided tape with my uh, shims and then I'll go ahead and shim it up and try to get this thing attached back down. You can see I've got the four shims in place now and before so I didn't hear any rattling of the uh, cone rubbing against the uh, center pole piece. I'm going to let the uh, paper cone dry completely. And I'll go ahead and apply the glue and then look at the uh, gasket that's left. I may use the uh, one third of material that was kind of left behind over here. But you can see after everything dries, we'll hook it back up to the receiver and see if I was able to mitigate the issue. I think I'll go ahead and just use my uh, speaker adhesive. Take a chance that this thing's going to work out. Now I'll go ahead and put a bead down here for the what's left of the gasket.
and just a little bit of Aileen's original tacky glue watered down just a bit then I'll brush it around the uh, surround area and try to seal that best I can a little too much water pour some of that off maybe another drop of water Once the glue dries, I'll go back and look at this closer. I may have to reinforce the area around the surround at the gasket in certain areas. Okay, I'll let that dry, then come back and look and see what touch-up will be needed, if any reinforcements required. Put some wax paper down. Put a little weight on top of the uh, loudspeaker and just let it be. Another good use for some Gojo Original Formula Hand Cleaner. Let me get the shims out now and just push down on the cone and see if we hear the rubbing. Then I'll go ahead and uh, attach this back to the receiver. You can see the uh, surround in this area. I still may build that up just a bit. That's where I basically uh, ran out of comb. So I think just building that up in a couple different areas would probably be advantageous. Okay. Let me get this uh, tied back in.